Pulling ahead. Oh my goodness, Brian Jet with the nitro. Oh, the C oh, stole it. All right, Brian Jet, are you here? Six, five, four. Oh, Ando, is that gonna be nitro? Ooh, nope, it's gonna be Minster. Nice. Round one. So not Peng, he says Haihachi. I know the pinned comment says otherwise, it says Peng, but ignore that. <laughs> Going for a God Fist, has the wall break available. Only took 9 seconds to break that one. Yeah, he is just warming up. Broken Toy, that is a one break. Catching Midster off guard here. But that's a lot of time to make up the difference, starting it off with an orbital heal. Double knees. Is there going to be a taunt? Oh, wants to win the set in another way. Goes straight for the snake edge. Beautiful 1-1-2 one, one, on the soccer kick. You can tell Brian Fury is a, uh, a blue lock fan with that kick. The QCB4. Duckworth's like, really? All right, say no more. I'll start learning some Brian Fury so I can do some of the blue lock moves. There you go. That QCB and the QCB4. Those are blue lock moves, bro. <laughs> Wasn't able to make the comeback the last time, but makes it here to get one round apiece round for both three. players. Fight. Beautiful duck on the 1-1-2. One, one, oh, wow. There's enough time to 1-1-2 one, one, it. Interesting. Orbital heal. Now both walls may potentially be broken. Didn't take that long to break it. FF2. Trying to create some space to Sabaki the F the, the Mach Punch. And said she's the plus five. LJ Lee loves that kind of cheese. DF1. No rage drive and just checking it with the mid. Fight. Spacing it out right now. Actually not spacing it out. Just going straight in. No personal space. Gotta hit hard where you gotta hit it. Avoiding the Sabaki there with the hatchet kick. Midster adjusting to the surprise Brian Jett had for him at the start of the game. As this this as this is the last set for tonight. But if Queer King makes it, uh we'll have one more set if he makes it. Big boy combos. Wall splat. Wow. That's how you know. He knows his cheese the whole way. Fight. DF11. Ooh, a little bit short there. Still sticking with the Sabaki, believing in it. That cheese will pull through eventually. It's like Mitsu's gonna press a jab. Bet, bet Mitsu's gonna press a jab. Oh, because you just want reactions? Well, to me, it's just, it's okay. Like, all the reviews I've seen about Blue Lock is that it's good. It's like home court in spirit, because you know, Kazuya owns it, and he's also a Mishima. So you kind of share it in quotation marks ish. I mean, it's, it's a nice coincidence that they're winning because of Blue Lock. <laughs> I have no idea what you said there. I have to bring, like, Google Translate here. Or, what's that? Deep L, right? Because I have legitimately no idea what you just said. But Kun! Oh, good evening. Oh, good evening to you too. <laughs> Going with the double punches. Close enough to get the taunt, but didn't even need it. Actually, not even close enough. Almost close enough. Down two, three. Are we hanging out in the Cheese HQ later? Well, I'll be there. Randomly. For a short period of time. One, two, three. Uh-huh. Rage drive in a dream for Brian Jet right now, hitting low. Assuming what you said was good evening. <laughs> Let me use Deep L. Deep L translator. The world's most accurate translator. Wow. Good evening. Okay, so both tra Google Translate and Deep L has the same answer. Big counter hit. Uh-huh. That's the most you could do in that situation. Have I seen this episode before? Yes, I have. Flashback with the low parry. 
No max punch to potentially punish that. The rage drive connects this time. Oh, was that a little sweep? It must have been. D1-1 interrupting. It's a battle of frames. They're trying to steal it. Is it going to be a robbery? Oh, oh my goodness. No way. It's not a double KO. It's not a double KO. <laughs> As the Horang XP paid through. Round one. Oh, look. It's Hayachi again. <laughs> <laughs> Going from the Hunting Hawk, no that Hunting Hawk is not plus for Horan. Down back two into the double punches. Trying to get the taunt. Oh, into down back three. Yeah, it, it was it really was it really was a busy week for this for this week. I don't know, I'll stay there for like 10 minutes, that's about it. <laughs> DF11. Not letting him start up. That's very good. There you go. Okay, gotta guess. 50-50. Spacing it out into the plus frames. Good break. That is a 1 plus 2. But not enough HP to tank the power crush. Or trade power crushes there at all. No hit confirm on the DF1 ones. Creating some space with back one. And the exam is right now. 14? Oh, well that works too. You don't want to let your opponent go away with something for free. Yeah, Nate's asleep too. Understandable. Ooh. Up back 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I don't feel that move out at all. Yeah, alright. So the limiting Horang. Midster's got it on deck right now. Let's see if Brian Jet can adjust to that. That's usually the main problem for most Horangs. Jet upper. Beautiful stuff. That is negative 14 exactly. Airblade, negative 13, learning it from the master. Hitting low. That still works, the secret sauce. Ooh. Huh? Midster definitely passed that one. Home court. So, you know what they say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Ultra instinct right now. Going with the plus frames, Midster keeping it compact. You see that Sabaki believes in the cheese and continues to believe in it. But is it worth the HP deficit? Maybe. Sometimes that's all part of the plan. But we're looking for a perfect is Midster and earns it from the cheese buffet. Get the seven slices. Bring it in. Get the seven slices of cheese. Strainy may protect. Wow, did you see the hitbox on that? That DF2. That was crazy far. More back ones for days. Counter hit. Oh, wow, proper splakpa. But the ender just whiffing out there. Side wall is it a friend or foe? No idea. Brian Jet laying down the pressure. But Midster. Unfazed. Oh, catches the float on the orbital heel. Tying it up one round apiece. Brian Jet definitely does need this game. His back is against the wall right now. No other way out of it. FF2 flip over into the CD3. DF11. Oh, no follow up there. Sidestep to potentially realign. That's a 1 plus 2. A 1 plus 2, 2. two. Does not hit grounded. It is what it is. 192 to 58. Midster part of the 3 digit club and Brian Jet part of the 2 digit club. They do not share cheese in their win counts, not at all. So they're not connected to the same server. That's to Brian's advantage. After all, his is the high speed one, the 5G speed. While I had cheat on 4G or maybe 3G. Unblockable, but not on the floor. Oh, go straight for 112. Probably caught Mr. off guard there. Like, oh, straight up 112. Didn't launch it nor punished it. But gets the damage in another way off an orbital heal. Almost got that one. Hitting low right now. Brian Jet, like, replying in kind with a low of his own. Rage drive plus frames. Not enough damage just yet. And there you go. Two all. Another. Both these players already have a win in Dojang Exhibition. So it's just a matter of padding stats. Earning more double use. One, two, three. Fantastic low parry there, but unable to connect the combo after DF4. That's Sabaki still believing in his Brian, but Midster has replied with a mid or a knee. By mid, I mean an elbow. 
like DF2. A little bit late there for the negative 10 punish on the OTGF, but still has the life lead. Losing some of the position right now. Brian Jet wants to keep pushing him to the balcony, but you see those SSR blocks. Great stuff here from Midster. Oh, you're not sure if you can play next Sunday. It's all good, man. Again, priorities first as per usual. I mean, Tekken's still gonna be here. And other avenues to play the game, whether it's on stream or off stream, will still exist. But whatever you need to do first, you gotta do it first. Ah, uh, you don't know that. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you'd get like really lucky or something like that. Or you play really, really well. Fight. One, two, three, four. Into the knees. Going for a power crush. Wants to keep Brian Jet there the same way Brian Jet was trying to get the balcony. Last round. Again, Mister does have the lead in terms of snake edge count. But I don't think there's anything Kaihachi can do to get back. Maybe the unblockable. Yeah, that's about it. If the unblockable can connect somehow. Oh, maximizing the frames there. Unfortunately, unable to get the follow-up. Get a crouch cancel into FF2 for that one. Or just follow it up with another FCD4. Rage Drive. Oh, the stomp. Very, very strong. Round four. Fight. True. We just want to play. That's really all it is. That's why hopefully the connections for Tekken 8 are good, right? But, uh, what matters for most than anything else is the ability to play the game, not the ranks or whatever. Wow! Old man Ayachi doing the work. Again, good games to both players. Good games. So as time goes by, right? Oh. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> because AOP beats, what do you call that? For F1 plus 2, the double hand press. Not exactly a great idea.